Hi everybody, Adrian here from White Hat Automation. I've got a really exciting development from the world of SEO to show you. Uh, you're going to love this, so please stay with it. Uh, here we go. So you've done your keywords research and you found a nice keyword with a high volume of monthly searches and low competition. Now you have to write content to optimize your web page for your keyword which means researching keywords, keyword phrases, LSI keywords, and, and the ideal density of all keywords in your content to make Google love your page. This is a big job, and even after spending a lot of time on it, you still don't really know if you have everything right, because even the top SEO experts don't really know exactly which keywords to use and the density of those keywords. And as you probably know, if you get this part of the operation wrong, you can sometimes do more harm than good. But now, thanks to White Hat Automation, there's a tool which will eliminate all the doubt and uncertainty of this difficult task. A tool that in less than one minute will tell you exactly, and we mean exactly, what you need to include in your copy to soak up all of that precious Google love and get your page to the top of the search engine results pages. Because your page will have the best optimized content on the net. How can we say this so confidently? Because you're going to get the information you need from the highest authority on the net, Google itself. So let's take a look at Keyword Chief. This is it in all its glory. Now I know it doesn't look much. This is a pre-release version. So when you get yours, it may look a bit snazzier than this, but it will still perform exactly as I'm going to show you now. Uh, the the left-hand window pane is for uh, editing and the right-hand page is the business ends. Now what we're gonna do is search for a keyword and when it's searching I'll explain what it's doing. This is the term I've got typed in, lose weight fast and down here I've got a percentage of 70 and I've got web cache ticked and I'll explain that to you now. I'm just going to hit search new keywords and what keyword chief is going to do it's going to put that search term into Google and it's going to look at the top 10 results of the search engine results pages. It's going to grab the content off all top 10 pages and it's going to compare all top 10 pages with each other, a complete comparison of all pages with each other and it's going to pick out the recurring keywords, the recurring phrases and words that happen in each of those pages so that when it gives you the result it's going to tell you exactly what Google likes because these keywords and keyword phrases are the ones that are already in the top 10 results of the search engine results pages. So now we have a result from Keyword Chief and you can see here these are the keywords that it's found. Now these, it's, what it's telling us is that Google says these words here appear in at least 70% of the content from the top 10 results for the search lose weight fast. So if you search for lose weight fast, at least seven of the 10 uh, results in the top in the first page will have these keywords and these phrases. Uh, you don't have to use 70%, you can use a higher percentage. In fact, because we've got, how many have we got? 89 here. It might be better to use a higher percentage because you're probably not going to be able to fit 89 keywords and keyword phrases into your article, into your content. So looking at these, these uh, keywords and these keyword phrases, some of these, in fact, you could, you could eliminate because uh, you can see that they're not really to do with the niche because they're small words. There is a, a, a stop word database in the software, so it doesn't normally return little words like to, at, of, etc. But nevertheless, you may find, look, there's a word, look, to, are, you wouldn't need to put that in your article, that's obviously not related. So now you know exactly what keywords to include. We can do the same again, 
I can do a similar search with 100% to narrow it down and go really hardcore. So uh, we, we need to uh, remove the, the, delete the current tab and do the search again. Now this time I'm going to go for 100%. We'll go, we'll go again and search new keywords. Now there's a little checkbox here, web cache, which you can use or not use. If you don't use it, if it's not checked, then Google will just go to the ordinary pages that appear in the search engine results. Now, there's a potential problem with that in that you've probably seen this. When you open a page, you sometimes get met with all sorts of pop-ups and questionnaires and um, all sorts of scripts going on on the page. And this can get in the way of Keyword Chief actually grabbing hold of the text. So if you use the web cache instead of the actual page, um, the web cache doesn't have all the scripty type stuff on it and can go, and that means that Keyword Chief can go straight to the content and scrape that and, and compare it. So I, I prefer to use web cache, but that's up to you which you use. So now we've got a much smaller list, only 18. If I just extend that a little bit, we can see what they are. Um, and uh, you can see that these are very, very good keywords. You may have come up with these if you'd have done the keyword research yourself, but you wouldn't have known exactly what to come up with. That's almost impossible. But here we are. Google is telling us that all 10 results for Lose Weight Fast have got these keywords in. Therefore, if you want your copy to be exactly the, the correct keywords and density of those keywords, then here they are. This is like Google waving a big red flag telling us, hello, this is what you need if you want me to love you and to put you in the first page of the search engine results. Now, so you've got your keywords and your keyword phrases. Now what you've got to do is write an article and put them in. <clears throat> so what I, I'm just, you've got to start off with something. So what I'm going to do is just use uh, an initially an article from eZine. I'm not trying to rip anything off or, or rewrite it or anything. It's just for the, the, the ease of getting an article into this page to show you what the next step is. So I'll, I'll go to eZine and I'll put this, the same search term in. Lose weight fast. Um, and we might as well take the first result. Um, best way to lose weight fast. So we'll click on that. And we'll, we'll take that. So th this is just to show you what the software can do. You, you don't need to scrape an article from Google really. You, you, you'd really want to write your own. So I'll copy that uh, and I'll put it into Keyword Chief. Now this is where it gets really good, because not only is Keyword Chief telling you the exact words and phrases that you need, but if we refresh the stats, these columns on the, on the right, it's telling you exactly how many of those you need to match what's going on in the first page of the search engine results. So you know, if you can adhere to this and make the actual words the same as the suggested words, then you're going to have absolutely perfect copy as far as Google is concerned. So what you do is, let's see, it's saying the word weight should appear 14 times in here. So if we can uh, write it in, let's see if we can find somewhere to put it in. Um, that first section is all about water. Um, so maybe the second paragraph, don't skip breakfast to lose weight, over the co feel much hungry over the course of the day. Uh, this won't make much sense, but, and increase weight. That's rubbish, it doesn't make sense, but the point is I've added the word weight uh, because we've only got six words and it's saying we should have 14. So if I refresh the stats again, now we've got seven for the word weight. And you just work your way through your article, adding words and decreasing them, or adding phrases and decreasing them so that they match with this black column here. 
and then you will have the perfect copy. Uh, that's it. That it really is that easy. That is Google telling you exactly what you need to put in your website content to match everything else that it's got going on in the first page of the search engine results. I'll just show you one more thing now. Um, we'll go back to Ezine and get another article. If if we have a look at the what this this guy who wrote this article. He's not a million miles off, really, is he? With with the uh, with what he had, this is not so good. He's got the word wait six. Well, it was six times, wasn't it? When it when it should be fourteen. But they kind of they kind of match with what Google's looking for, and I guess that's why he was in the first page of Ezine's search. Uh, now I'm going to go to this article here. I've seen this article before. Um, I, I won't lie, but I, but I want to I want to show you something in it. This was number four in the results, right? As opposed to number one, and we'll copy that and paste it in as well. So if I just delete that and put the second article in, now I can refresh the stats, and here you see the top top ones are pretty good, but when you get down to the bottom here. They're at the bottom because there's too many words. Um, and these phrases here, for example, lose weight fast, which is what we're trying to optimize for. Google only wants to see that twice in your copy. Now, that's interesting, isn't it? Seeing as that's the word we're actually trying to optimize for, the phrase we're trying to optimize for. But the person who wrote this article has got it in 15 times, which is why... They're not at number one. And also, if you're, uh, if you're used to SEO, I'm sure you'll know that this sort of uh, over-insertion of keywords and keyword phrases is very often frowned upon by Google because it can be seen as keyword stuffing and trying to manipulate Google. Right? And up to now, there's no way, there's been no way of being able to tell exactly how many of these keywords you should have in until now with this fantastic, easy to use tool called Keyword Chief. It's available now, you need it, you, there's nothing like it available, it's gonna make your life so much easier, but more than anything else, it's going to rocket your optimized web pages into the first page of Google's results, and who knows, maybe up to the number one spot. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a really good time with this tool.